I've got the Outback of Firebox stove here. Uh, it's something that I've been dying to have a go with for a bit. Um, it's a small, portable, wood-burning stove, ostensibly designed and you know put together for tents, bell tents especially. Got this one through Bell Tent Boutique, and uh, but I think it has other uses. So before we take it out with our uh, with our camping gear in a few weeks' time, we thought we'd just fire it up here down at the allotments and maybe make some bacon sandwiches on it. So if you're familiar uh, with wood burning stoves, I've got one in your house. This is much the same as you've got in your house. It's just smaller. Um, you've got a little vent there where you can, you know, take the air up and down to make sure that uh, you're getting, getting the kind of kind of draw that you want. Uh, you've got a little, I suppose, a little fastening there that you can you can you can keep that uh, get that closed when you when you've got it damped down. Oh, I suppose when you're lighting it, you can let a little bit extra in. Just sitting it there like that. Um, it's a pretty robust little, little bit of kit. Got this thing here, that's pretty good. So when you've got the fire going, if you want to stick a pan on there, you can lick the bottom of the pan. We've got an old iron pan there that we're going to fry some authentic bacon in, in a little while. Oh, when you've got it damped down, you can just sit your teapot on there, keep everything nice and warm. Um, it's a pretty good bit of kit, I've got to say. Okay, so we're um, we're lighting it off now. They recommend you leave the door open when you light it off. Um, so I've got the door open a little bit here. Lighting it off is fairly, you know, it's probably the most, it's probably the the, the, the muckiest moment of it. I would, I would have thought. Um, they say that when these are cracking, they don't really give off. If the wood's dry, as it should be, they don't give off that much smoke. I can see that being the case. Um, it is drawing really well, it's just tearing through there, so um, when it gets going, I'll feed it up and um, I'll keep you posted, shall I? I've got some uh, dry cured bacon here from the local butcher shop, and I'm going to give this a little go now. Oh, don't have sound good. <laughs> what we've got is I'm just letting the fire here lick the bottom of the pan. <laughs> got Nathan's gardening glove here, giving me a hand with it. Um, some ferro heat kicks off of this. According to the spec, it's a three kilowatt stove. This, so if you put this in a in a tent, it, it's going to heat it up. It's going to heat it up quickly. Um, I can feel it here now. You know, um, chucking out the heat. See this? That's a bacon sandwich that I've cooked off the back of the outback of stove, that is. That's not enough for coffee. I could see this being a lot of fun and a lot of use. Um, I'm thinking of other things that it might be useful for. A mate of mine, he likes to, he likes to go and sit out half the night under a tarp, catching carp. I bet he'd like to have one of these. Um, here we are down at the allotment. I think that the other the other allotmenteers here have, have sort of looked at it with some interest, if not envy. A uh, cracking thing to have in your shed for a, for a Sunday morning. Um, as you can see, the old water eaters boiling away. A nice cup of tea on the go there for me. It's a really, really useful and fun bit of kit.